I am Dr. Tanika Greensberry, an English teacher at Ed Options Academy. I have been with Edmentum since August of 2020, and this is my 15th year in education. As a minority teacher at Ed Options Academy, I can truly say that I've been embraced by my coworkers, my students, and my parents. I couldn't ask for a better team. However, I've seen racial disparity in the education system to the underserved black and brown student populations. These community schools are under-resourced, understaffed, and the students are underrated. There is a need for advocacy, and I gladly accept this challenge. I walk in a path laid for me by other phenomenal and selfless African-American teachers, such as Susan King Taylor, born August 6, 1848 in Liberty County, Georgia. She was the first African-American to teach openly in a school for former slaves in Georgia. At this school in Savannah, she taught children during the day and adults at night. She died on October 6, 1912, and is now a 2018 inductee of the Georgia Women of Achievement. I strive to make a positive impact in the lives of the students that I teach, just like Charlotte Fortin Grimke an African-American educator, poet, and anti-slavery activist. She taught freed Black slaves during the Civil War and later became the first teacher to teach at South Carolina's Penn School. The most important part about being a teacher is getting to know your students. This is easy to do at Edmonton because we have so many opportunities to interact. It only takes a moment to ask, how was your weekend? Or what do you want to be when you grow up? This is how you make connections. This is how you build relationships. Interactions are so limited and there's so much unknown, but we must learn and embrace our students' cultures so that it is not viewed as an afterthought. We can't teach them if we don't know them. Minority students are visible and invisible at the same time. So I challenge you, see them. I mean, really see them. You can't leave a legacy if you don't start one. What will your legacy be? Happy Black History Month.